Hi everybody, it's me Tess with Tess Loves Yarn. And you guys, today's video is my Mayo Clinic Yarn Crawl. Now y'all know, uh, or at least I think you know, <laughs> that my pancreas has not been working right. And my doctors here suggested that I apply for Mayo Clinic. And so we did that and I was accepted. And I went to Mayo Clinic. <laughs> so I was there for um, a whole week and they did a lot of testing. Um, they actually admitted me into the hospital there. And yeah, um, good news is they did figure out my pancreas and we have a plan in place and hopefully everything will um you know, go back to normal and I can get my life back. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're hoping. But what this video is about is not that. It's about the specialty yarn shops that Superman took me to after I was discharged from the hospital at Mayo. Um, I was discharged about three o'clock in the afternoon and so we headed north, about an hour's drive north, to the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And you guys, there were so many specialty yarn shops there. It was incredible. However, since it was so late in the day, I had to pick only three that we could make it to before they closed. So that's what we did. We made it to Muse 2320, the Yarnery, and we also made it to a shop called Darn Knit Anyway. And so I am going to show you the video clips I took at those three specialty yarn shops. The yarn is absolutely incredible. High-end yarn, you guys. Um, yeah, it was amazing. And I did purchase yarn at each of the three stores. And I will show you that yarn at the end of the video. Okay? So, I'm gonna, through the magic of video editing, here comes the videos from the three yarn shops. Okay? Hang on, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's me, Tess, with Tess Loves Yarn. And you guys, we are at a place called Muse2320, which is a yarn shop here in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And we're gonna walk inside and I'm gonna flip the camera around. Yeah. So this is the this is the shop. Right there. Okay, and we're going to walk in the door, and let's see, this is it right here, and we are inside, just going to give you guys a quick little look right here, there's Superman over there sitting on the chair, we have, um, a lot of different yarns here. This is some really rustic yarn right here. Uh, I could not wear this against my skin, but you guys know I'm very sensitive. But lots of, lots of didn't hear some cotton yarns. Lots of different yarns here. These are hand dyed by the owner of, of, uh, the store right here yeah uh, yeah that was hand dyed all of the yarn that says 2320 on it I think is hand dyed by the owner there's some then we have more yarn here the um, Barocco yarns these are all like Barocco yarns right here and once we get over here, they go into the Muse 2320 yarns. These are some really nice bulky yarns right here. 
Let's see. I'm trying to look to see what what these are. A lot of these are superwash merino. Oh, some really pretty yarn here. Really pretty. I look at these wild colors. Look at that. This is beautiful. Yeah. Let's see. This is really pretty. Look at that one. It reminds me of the ocean. It's called dead stock. <laughs> That's funny. It's a chunky yarn. 109 yards. Superwash merino. Uh, here I think these are more DK weight. Yeah, DK weight yarns. Also very nice. And this is really pretty. Um, this, um, the young lady who works here told me this was a shop favorite. And you can see why. Look at that colorway. That's beautiful. It's called Reading Tea Leaves. And it's 100% superwash merino wool. It's 182 yards. And it is a worsted Aran weight. And honestly, I'm probably going to get some of this. <laughs> because that is gorgeous. Let's see. I've got some more pretty colors up here. Oh, these are really pretty. This is really pretty right here. Um, this is a DK weight, superwash merino, 231 yards in these, and let's see, oh, I love this one, love the purple in here, mulberry mead, but unfortunately there's only one of them, and it would be hard to make, uh, something with just one and I don't think there are any more of these in that colorway yeah it doesn't look like it looks like someone came in and and grabbed them <laughs> but yeah you can see all the different colorways and all of these are hand dyed by the owner Look, here's a, here's a really pretty one. Yeah. I like this a lot. Here's some fingering weight. Oh, and look at these, you guys. Nice. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This is a fingering weight. Let's see. A good vintage. That's really pretty, the purples. I'm being drawn to purples, purples today for some reason. Oh, look at that one, nice. Okay, and then let's see. Some more, just giving you a, I mean, this is a really nice shop. Lots of things to look at in here too. Let's see. Oh. Some more purples. This is a DK as well. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm liking the uh, the one I showed you guys up here. This one right here. So I think I'm going to have to pick out some of these. What do you guys think about this one? This one is the Reading Tea Leaves. I just think that is so pretty. Yeah, really pretty. It actually goes really well with the lilac. Look at that. can make something striped with that. Yeah, these are pretty too. Let's see, this is a bulky, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe not. 
Let's see. What's that say? It's 182 yards. It's blackberry compote. Which, oh, that's, I guess that's a worsted weight. That's really pretty, too. Okay, you guys. I am going to make up my mind here. And when I'm done, I'll come back and show you what I have decided on. All right? Another look. And look. A little place to sit and knit. Or crochet. Nice. Okay, I'll be back. So you guys, I've made a decision. It was between the purple, which uh, that colorway was mulberry wool, and this one, which is reading tea leaves, and there is a fly buzzing around that is driving me crazy. But as you can see, I decided on the reading tea leaves because I just kept going back to it and picking it up. So that's what I'm getting. All right, everybody, uh, hang on for the next yarn stall. Yarn store as we do the yarn crawl. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. All right, everybody. See you in a minute. Hi everybody, I'm back. And we are at our second store now. It's called The Yarnery. And it is in St. Paul, Minnesota. So I'm gonna get off of here so I can get permission to record once I get in the store and I'll be back. All right. Okay, everybody, I am inside the store and I'm just checking out some worsted weight yarn here. Um, look at this one. This is some, um, this is some Malabrigo yarn. That is really beautiful. Look at these, look at those colors. You can see those colors in there. Gorgeous. Really beautiful really beautiful. I might have to get some of this right here. But um yeah, look at look at these. This one um trying to see what the colorway is and I I can't tell. Can't tell where the colorway is. Does it say on here? It's made in Peru, hand dyed. Um, oh yeah, it's, this is the colorway, Cantombi, I don't know. This one is Archangel, that I, and that's really pretty. Oh, this one's close, it's Aries. Let's see, these are all really pretty. Um, this is Libra, and... Purple Mystery. <laughs> That's very pretty too. Yeah. Um, here's some more. This one is a different brand, a different maker. Oh, this one's Highland Wool. It's a very rustic, very rustic. I would not be able to wear that next to my skin. Um, this one is uh, Blue Sky Fibers. This one is also 100% fine Highland wool. It's a little bit softer than this one. Like I said, this one's like very rustic uh, for me anyway. This one is Alpaca. This is Barocco Alpaca. Um, some pretty colors here. Purple. Yeah. Um, let's see. More Barocco. Um, I'm kind of drawn toward the purples. Uh, this is a yarn from Peru. Let's see. What is this? Is this Superwash? Um, let me see, let me see. It's a worsted weight. It's 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 80% nylon, so it's a blend. 
Yeah, which is, um, I think pretty standard for that. Um, oops. There goes my alarm going off for my sugar, you guys. Uh, let's see. This is some organic cotton, Blue Sky Organic Cotton, which is very nice. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Very nice. Those are more DK weights. Yeah, let's see. Let's go around here. Oh, that's nice. This is some fingering weight yarn. Yeah, this would be good for knitting some socks. Um, as you guys know, I have been into knitting socks lately, <laughs> like crazy. Um, oh, some bulky yarn. This is some nice bulky yarn here. Some nice chunky bulky yarn. Um, the Mal Malabrigo and the chunky. Let's see, how many yards? 104 yards of the chunky yarn. Let's see. This is really nice. This is a tweed yarn. Let's see, who's this by? BC, BC Garn Hamilton Tweed. It's actually, um, it's actually really nice. Really nice yarn. Yeah, that's more rustic right here. Okay. Then here they have some items that are already uh, knitted that you can, I think that you can purchase actually. Yeah. These are for purchase. Oh, look at this cute little knitted sweater. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. I don't know what the price is on it, but it is cute as can be for a, a baby. Yeah. Very cute little sweaters. Okay. And then here. Oh, these are nice. These are very soft, you guys. Ginger Twist. Let's see. Very nice. I like these. And some pretty colorways here. Mm, let's see. Ginger Twist Studios. This one is really pretty. Let's see. Can't tell. Chunky Baby. 100 grams. 100% 100 Baby Alpaca. Oh, that's nice. Very soft. Okay. And... Let's see. I think I'm going to have to um, stop filming because there are a lot of people in here and they may not appreciate being on my YouTube channel. But let me get that chunky yarn in over there because I just want to zoom in on this. Look at that. So pretty, isn't it, you guys? So pretty. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, they just left. So here. I'll come back over here. And I think I showed you this tweed. But yeah, I know I showed you this um, Malabrigo here. I think I did show you all of this. So I'll just kind of back up and give you um, a look at the these up here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is yarn porn, you guys. Oh, this, this is so nice. Oh, look at this. This is the DK section. So, lots of different colors here. Um, this is beautiful. Look at this. That is gorgeous. That is some nice DK weight yarn. 335 yards. 
very pretty too. Very pretty. Yeah. These are these are just gorgeous. Uh, I don't, don't even know what to say. They're, they're so pretty. Some some small, probably fifty gram balls here. Uh, Shopo. Yeah, fifty gram balls. Very very nice yarn. I love that. Okay. I am going to look some more at the finger weight yarn because I might grab some to make some socks. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here. They have some kits here, different kits. Um, some more kits over here. I'll look at this one. You can knit a um, little bunny kit comes with everything you need to knit the bunny, including the fluff, hat kit, scarf kit, um, yeah, all different kinds of kits. They have title ship shawl kit, very nice, very nice, little pin cushions, these are so cute. Okay, and super soft four ply. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so we're back over here at the fingering weight yarn. Very pretty. I'm just wondering if, um, I'm thinking about getting some of this too make some socks. <laughs> I think, oh, this would be pretty for socks, you guys. How much is in here? 438 yards that is definitely enough to make a pair of socks because I don't make, um, I don't make them up to my knees. I just make them like ankle, ankle socks. So this looks like it would probably be enough, and I love this colorway. So, I might get that one or this one. Let me see what this is. 75% merino and 25% silk. So that is pretty nice, and let's see, $34. Um, which is not a bad price considering it's silk and merino wool but yeah and that's polka dot sheep fine yarns this is the goosey fibers it's not as soft as the polka dot yarn um now we have some hand dyed over here oh this is really this is lovely this is really nice let's see 400 yards and this is really beautiful Okay, this one is 80% merino wool and 20% nylon, and it's a fingering weight. Let's see, how many yards are in there? 400 yards, yeah. Those would make some um, really nice socks as well. We have some different colorways way up there that I cannot begin to reach. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, these are just beautiful. If you are in the area up here, you definitely need to make a trip to the store, everybody. This, I mean, just look at these yarns. So beautiful. Um, I'm loving this. Okay, you guys. It's time for me to pick out the yarn I'm going to get. So I will come back on after I do that and let you know what I chose. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Okay, I'm upstairs here. This is where, like, the worsted weight yarns and um, all the way down to fingering yarns are up here. And the bulkies were down there where I showed you. This is Studio Donegal. 
it's a more rustic yarn so once again not a yarn that I would be able to use but um what is this Cumulus by Juniper Moon that's nice and soft you guys Let's see $27 for this cake it's 94% cotton 6% nylon and a 4 weight worsted yarn um doesn't let's see how many yards 251 yards or 229 meters yeah and then let's see look at that that's sparkly wool addicts kind of kind of rustic y'all know what I mean by rustic kind of um not as soft as I would like but yeah this feels like cotton and I am almost pretty sure yep 100% mercerized cotton I thought that was cotton pretty though let's see Cascade 220 that's a knit pick yarn a uh, little too rough for my skin but you know I have sensitive skin now this is soft as can be it's some Barocco yarn I think that's Noro yarn down here yeah that's not too bad yeah okay uh, dream and color yarn let's see what is this worsted weight yarn 100% uh, merino superwash we got some very pretty colors up here look at those really bright colors in the Rios yarn yeah here's some more Cascade 220 in the super wash mm -hmm. let's see oh this looks like alpaca or something let's see baby alpaca yeah I knew that knew that so this is all alpaca yarn very pretty let's see how much you get of this uh, let's see it's thirty six dollars and fifty cents and I don't see where it says how much you get on it which is hmm, interesting but yeah, there's some blue sky. It's all alpaca though. And then blue sky, blue sky. And then look at this wall over here. Mm. Let's see. Okay. Miss Babs. And then this is Babette. <laughs> These are fingering weights, you guys. Some fingering weight yarns right here. Zombie Games is this colorway. Zombie Games. It looks like a zombie game. It's a two-ply. Yeah. Very pretty. That's a very, that's very pretty cotton for cotton socks um dream smooshy cashmere oh cashmere cashmere sorry this is really nice $38 for the hank this is colorway fancy 70% superwash merino and 20% cashmere 10% nylon but I don't see where it says how much you get like where is the yardage 
Hmm. I'm, I'm just not seeing it. I don't know if I'm just not seeing it or what, but yeah. So these are all finger weights. Um, well, except for these. Oh, let's see. Very pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at those colors. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. And then here we go. Here's some more of that Babette. And worsted weight. Look at these colorways. Very beautiful, you guys. Look at that. Look at those colorways. Amazing. Really amazing. Let's see. Some more Queensland yarn over here. Mm. Some more crochet, thin crochet yarn. Mm. It, that was a cotton, by the way. And then just some Uptown DK anti-pilling. Looks like it's 100% acrylic. Yeah, 100% acrylic. And these are $9. $9 a ball right there, or a skein. Um, here's some more yarn. 100%, I think these are 100% wool. Scout yarn. Um, a little rustic. Simplicity yarn. Right here. Don't know how much these are. Cannot tell. Mm, Helix DK. Right here. I've seen a lot of pretty colorways. But I, I just don't feel anything that's like I think like is going to be soft enough for me this this is actually pretty soft but it's organic cotton blend right here yeah and it's a DK $24 for 306 yards yeah I'm just I'm just not feeling anything that is super soft. I mean, Vintage DK by Barocco. Hmm. This is all Barocco, I guess. And then just some more Uptown Worsted Yarn in different colors. And then this is Super Saki Yarn. It's a merino color. That's what it's it says. Let's see. Oh, let's see what this is. 70 per 75 percent wool, 25 percent polyamide. So yeah. Honey, yes. I was thought I'd never be kicked out of a yarn shop. Are you getting kicked out? We are. It's time to go. Oh, is it time? Is it eight o'clock? Five minutes to eight. Oh, it's Friendly five minutes to eight, you guys. Okay. Friendly, friendly reminder. They're getting ready to kick us out, everybody. Here's some more uh, sock yarn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was really hoping to find some yarn here that I would like. But it's just, there's that Rios yarn. Um, it's kind of pretty. Mm, mm, that's pretty. Blue and purple, you guys. Yeah. Pretty autumn color. Uh, another pretty one. Oh. This is pretty. Oops. I'm thinking 
You guys, these are these are nice. I might have to go with these. Okay. I think I'm going to go with these. I'll let you know. Um, they're getting ready to close, so i got to hurry. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. I hope that you all enjoyed seeing those video clips and all of that amazing yarn. And what I'm going to do right now is show you the yarn that I actually purchased from each of those three stores. So the first uh, yarn store we went to was Muse. 2320 up in the Twin Cities in Minnesota and the yarn that I purchased from that specialty yarn stop store is right here look at this colorway you guys the owner um, hand dyes all of this yarn herself I bought three hanks these were $28 a piece so pretty pricey but they are a hundred percent um superwash merino wool and they were hand dyed and they are absolutely gorgeous and truthfully i wish i had bought um at least three more so that i could have made a sweater <laughs> yeah these are i believe they're oh these are 182 yards they're worsted weight yarn and you can wash these in cold water on delicate but you have to lay them flat to dry whatever you make with them so that's the first yarn shop that uh, i purchased from and then the second yarn shop i purchased from is the yarnery and i got from the yarnery <laughs> three hanks of Malabrego yarn in worsted weight, also hand dyed. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. Super squishy, soft, 100% super wash merino wool. And these, I believe, are 210 yards. Yes, 210 yards. These are also worsted weight. I like a worsted weight yarn. That's my favorite yarn to use. Um, these are 100 gram hanks. And this colorway is called Candomby. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I bought these three, and then, you guys, I did a little splurge. Oh, by the way, these right here were $17.50 each. These Hanks, $17.50 a piece. But then I did a splurge. I bought um, <laughs> some sock yarn from Pearls and Pines Yarn Company, which is a company up in Minnesota. I'm in Missouri. This is up in Minnesota. And you guys, the colorway is called Mermaid Tail. It is a finger weight sock yarn. So it is 80% um, superwash merino wool and 20% nylon. And you guys, it was $29.50. So yeah, like $30, $30 for this. It was very pricey. It was a big indulgence for me, but um, considering what I've been through the last six months, um, I thought I deserved it <laughs> and I bought it. And I am super glad I did because it makes me very happy. And I am going to get several pairs of shorty socks out of this. Several pairs, trust me. So yeah, super excited about this because I have never had high-end sock yarn before. Never in my life. This is a first. So I'm happy. <laughs> and I deserve it. So there you go. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just deserve something, right? And you got to go for it. And I did. And I'm very happy that I did. So that's what I got at the Yarnery. And then the very last store that we visited that we actually closed. I mean, we closed the store. We were the last ones out. And what I found at that store, I actually didn't think I was going to find anything at first. But at the very, very end, just as they were 
announcing, you know, the, hey, we're closed, we're kicking everybody out kind of thing, I came across this. Look at that, you guys. And yes, I bought three, three Hanks. And this is the Malabrego Rios yarn. And the colorway is called Wales Road. And it's 210 yards, 100% superwash merino wool. And you guys, it is so soft and squishy. I absolutely love it, love it, love it. So I have to figure out what I'm going to make with this new high-end yarn that I purchased. I need to get them all caked up and figure out what I want to make with them once uh, I sit down and think about it. Yeah. So do you guys have any suggestions? So I have 630 yards of the Malabrego yarns. And then the other one I have about 600 yards, of, a little less than 600 yards. But I might order more of that one so that I can make a cardigan out of it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know which of the yarns that I actually purchased that you like the best. And also, if you saw any yarn in the stores as I was doing the videos, um, let me know if you saw anything that you liked in that as well. Because I'm really interested, but I really do want your ideas on what to make with this yarn, you guys. I think I need a little help. So yeah, so that is the video for today. If you are new here, I would be tickled pink if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, y'all know how much I appreciate you. I, I'm telling you, your loyalty to my channel and to me has been amazing. Um, your sweet comments really lift me up. Uh, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes here, obviously, and uh, you guys keep me going. So thank you so much for that. I have a lot of gratitude for that. So thank you. And uh, also just a quick announcement that my private channel memberships are now open. If you're interested in that, you can hit that join button below and it will not automatically join you. It will give you the information and then if you'd like to join, you can do so. Okay. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out and yeah, that's it everybody. And you know what comes next? Be kind and be safe out there in the world no matter where you are. And I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.